First of all, can I just say, on behalf of the Cork Region of Engineers Ireland, how delighted we are to be given this opportunity by the Cork Environmental Forum to uh, come and talk to you. And one of my colleagues from Engineers Ireland, my Engineers Ireland, Michael Madden, will be speaking later. Can I also say that um, I'm not speaking on behalf of Engineers Ireland, uh, I'm speaking in a personal capacity. I'm former chairman of the Cork Region of Engineers Ireland. I'm also a director of Cork Chamber of Commerce, and I'm not speaking on behalf of Cork Chamber of Commerce either. These are personal remarks. My background has been one of an involvement in water policy issues, and that's really asking the question, how do we organize ourselves so we get things done properly? And I want to try and restrict my remarks today to that policy aspect and to to the extent that how is this organising a small aspect of water services and will it get a job done properly? So let me perhaps ask the question, what will the legislation mean for people? Well, the legislation probably might be interpreted as having two purposes. The first purpose is quite simply to get Europe off our backs. We were found guilty by Europe of not having a system for registering and licensing septic tanks under the, under the waste directive, and this was seen as a risk, an unacceptable risk to the environment. We were facing penalties. We had to do something. At a very high level, we simply had to do something to get Europe off our backs. The second question is whether or not the purpose of this is necessarily to have a major impact on the environment. And that might be an altogether more difficult question to answer. And this is where a quote during the week is saying that this may be credible, but it may also be crippled. And it may be deliberately crippled in the same way that the flu vaccine is a crippled version of the flu virus. It's not really strong enough to do an awful lot. And many people, I suppose, have been questioning, will there be inspectors crawling over every field and ditch in Ireland looking at septic tanks? And as the legislation is currently framed, the answer to that has got to be no, there won't. There simply isn't enough money in the pot. And even before the minister announced that the 50 euro registration fee was going to be offered at a discount down to 5 euro for three months, there was still very little money in the pot. If you take some, just take some estimates, there are 475,000 roughly septic tank on-site wastewater treatment systems. The possibility is that you might at a stretch get 80% of them to register. Half of them might register at the 5 euro rate and the other half might go for the 50 euro. If you add that up, that's 10, min 10 million euro. What are you going to do with 10 million euro? Well, you've got to put together your registration system. When people register, you've got to look at that data. You've got to cleanse that data. You can't just accept it as it is because the legislation requires local authorities to issue a certificate. So the certificate, so somebody has to check to see they're not issuing a certificate to Mickey Mouse of, uh, of Syria, because that is what could go on to a registration. Once you have gone through that data cleansing process, the EPA has to develop its national inspection plan. It has to look at the, all of the public and, and private water supply schemes, it has to look for those septic tanks that pose a risk, because these are the ones that are that the, where they should be identifying for inspections. That is not necessarily an easy task. And of course, while that is going on, somebody has to be policing the system, has to be looking for those, has to be credibly looking for those that have chosen not to register. That's going to take some time, it's going to take some people, it's going to take some money. Unless anyone think otherwise, local authority engineers and scientists and technicians do not come at zero cost. They are a valuable resource, 
and every one of those that you're using has a, has, has a charge attached, and the county manager will explain, would explain that to you. So, once you have your national inspection plan, you have to train inspectors. You have to have some form of register of your inspectors. You have to have systems for managing the inspector's reports. Now, across 34 local authorities in Ireland, I find it very difficult to imagine that you're going to get all of that work done for anything less than 5 million euro out of your 10 million. It could be a lot more. But even if you were left with 5 million out of your original 10 million pot, how many inspections would that buy you? Well, even the most cursory inspection, where an inspector takes the file down, goes and gets into his car, drives to somebody's property, opens the door, goes in, has a look at the evidence of maintenance of desludging, walks around the property, checks just visual inspection just to see that everything's okay, gets back into his car and files a report. Certainly in parts of West Cork, Galway, just doing that task alone is probably going to take you half a day. And as I said, the resources that you'd expect to be doing this, the inspectors, you'd expect that the inspectors would not be a very cheap resource. So you're probably talking a minimum of a couple of hundred euro for even a visual inspection. And where you find that somebody is at fault and you have to do more invasive inspections, you have to dig some holes. Well, how, how many diggers are going to cost 500 euro? So you can see that where you have to do more detailed inspections, it could be 1,000 euro and more. So we're going on a scale from maybe 200 euro up to 1,000 euro or more. And perhaps if you took an average of 500 euro for your inspections, you start dividing down to your 5 million, you can see that there might be just 10,000 inspections done. So 10,000 inspections out of your half a million separate tanks means that between now and, say, 2017, 2% of septic tanks might get targeted. So if you have a septic tank, or on-site treatment system, that is nowhere near a water supply scheme, public water supply scheme, and if you are having it regularly maintained, you have absolutely nothing to fear. And I would also suggest to you that given the nature of a system like this, and you, you think about how the revenue commissioners will say to you, well, if you get your, your taxes done by a certain date, you reduce your risk of an audit. I strongly believe that the same thing will happen for those that register early for the septic tanks. They will be reducing their risk of an audit. Now, 